Today I'm going to be working on some watercolor ephemera for World Watercolor Month. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> um, I like working in my journals and my sketchbooks and one thing that I like to use to decorate them are shapes that I fussy cut out and here's some like round ones I don't I don't make them like perfectly round so these are kind of oval and some different patterned ones I have here and oh this one's full of hearts all different types of hearts that I've made from watercolor patterns just watercolor colors that I like Okay, so I'm going to be making some more, even though it looks like I have a ton. I don't like running out of them. I wanted to show you a couple of examples of how I use them. In the mini journals, I just decorate the page. I'll go back in later with watercolor or markers and add more to the page. But it's a really nice touch, I think, and it helps me have a jumping off point when I work in my journals. And this is, I have one more example in this book. I'm working on a lot of um, portraits or illustrations of girls in here. And so I added them as decoration for this girl here. To make the ephemeras, I like to use all different types of papers. This is a selection or a, a bunch of offcuts from scrap paper. They also have sketchbook pages, construction paper, dictionary paper, different types of filler paper, notebook paper, and coffee dye paper. So I can also use those. And one of my all-time favorites is this sketching paper that I use. Uh, it comes in a bound sketchbook, but I needed to remove some pages for a project. The watercolors I use most for this type of project are the Pastel Dreams, my Daniel Smith, and my little Cotman sketch sets. Today I decided to make some flower shapes, loose flower shapes, because surprisingly I didn't have any cut out. You can make whatever shapes you want, whatever you're drawn to. These are so pale. I like soft colors sometimes in my journals and sketchbooks because I don't always want everything to be bright. The other thing I wanted to paint today is some leaves world's simplest leaves because I didn't have any leaf shapes in my containers either. I thought that was weird. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the center. Maybe I'll just leave it like that.
I know it looks messy, but that's how I want it. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting the color to look like that. Huh. Just surprised. And this is going to be just, I don't know what kind of leaf this is. Something that resembles a leaf. I'm not trying to recreate realistic stuff. Okay, cool. All right, so that page is done too. So obviously you can see how easily that's done. Another shape that I like to use are rainbow shapes, or I think they're arches. So I'm gonna make some of those while my other pages are drying. Oh, I'm gonna try some brown. <laughs> Lately I've been trying to make sure I use my brown paint too. It's kind of weird how it's one of my least used colors. Which is weird because I like to paint a lot of nature things. Maybe because I'm not sure what color to mix with it. Let's see. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. I really like that green I mixed. I don't mind if they mix together, it's okay. Makes things a little more interesting for me. And I think I'll do some words. Let's see, what color do I wanna use? Paint gray. It's in one of these. Not that one. This one. I'll use paint gray for the words. And I'm going to write out words that I like to add to my pages a lot, so. That's my text page and I'll show you how I decorate those two and how I cut them out in different ways. I hope you liked seeing how I make a watercolor ephemera and now in the second part of the video I'm going to be sharing my portrait illustration process in my mixed media sketchbook and I'll be adding the watercolor ephemera as collage. I hope you like seeing this process.
thank you for joining me in this week's video. If you liked it, please leave a like, and I'll see you next time.